Hey guys, it's Susan coming to you live. Live. Have us all live coming to you live from North Carolina here at the pool. It is Friday. You know what that means, mamas. It is happy hour for us mamas. It's a little different here in the summer because it's a very, the weeks are very different. It's not like we're in school and like we're stressed out with like the rat race of getting to school and soccer and what have you. Um, it's more of a rat race of, oh my gosh, my kid has nothing to do and now I have to entertain them. And I don't know what's worse, right? So um, Friday, and we deserve it because we survived another week. So what are we tasting today? Today we are going to be pairing a very weird pairing. And I don't know very, you know, this is something like I had on my radar because I realized, I don't think I've ever had them before, um, but they're like, I see them everywhere. And, and especially now that it's like summer season, you see, you know, they have all of the chips and the dips and the tortilla chips and the potato chips and the corn balls and, and the pork rinds. And I was like, pork rinds? I don't think I've ever had them before. Not like plain. But you know, I will say, this is gonna be new for me, especially if I'm pairing them with wine. So we're gonna taste tonight some hot and spicy pork rinds. And we're gonna taste some original pork rinds. And I guess, is, is, am I pronouncing this right? Chicarones, chicarones. I, I apparently, for those that are pork rind aficionados, there is a difference between a pork rind and a chicarones, but I, 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 you'll have to school me on it because I, this is my first pork rind experience. But you know, they do say that they are actually healthier than a potato chip, if you can believe that, because they say that it has zero carbohydrates, right? Because it's not a potato. It's got zero carbohydrates. It's basically like a fried pig, pig skin. It's got zero carbohydrates and it's got like 17 grams of protein. And you know, your potato chip is nothing but like fried oil and potato and carbs and you know. So although this is fried, you've got the protein backing it and you've got zero carbs. So man, all it has to now be is gluten free and like it's gonna be on all the health food aisles, right? So. I was doing some research to try to figure out what was going to pair well with this, and uh, well, this is uh, there was mixed reviews and not a whole lot of information out there about how to pair these two. So we're kind of making this up as we go along. They did suggest that with like the spicy ones that you kind of might want to pair it with something sweet, but I'm like I'm thinking to myself, do I? They want they they suggested like Moscato, which is really really sweet, and I'm like uh, I don't think I'm down with that. But they also did suggest that you could do it with a sparkling, like a sparkling. Um, Prosecco that's a little sweeter, but I'm like, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about having this like this crunchy oily thing mixed with this bubbly sweet thing. I don't know, we'll have to see how that works out. And then they had recommended with something like this that you have a heartier red, like the plain, like a heartier red, like a uh, what did I say? A Zinfandel. So yeah, I went out to the my Lidl. I don't know if you guys have Lidl's. Do you have Lidl's out by either kind of like an Aldi? And they had like you know, huge wine selection, and so that's where I kind of picked up my six dollar bottles of. Prosecco and a, I keep wanting to say Pinot Noir, it's not a Pinot Noir, it is a Zinfandel, Red Zinfandel. So, and we're, we're Red Solo cupping it, people, because it's summer. So can you see inside the Red Solo cup? I fill you up. It's time to pork rind. It's time to pork rind. So how have you guys been? I've been on hiatus for a while. I just want to say the word hiatus. Hi. Hello. We're waiting for our friend Melissa to come. Remember, she's the one who usually joins me. You remember him? Uh, she's the one who normally hot joins mess me. kid. Yeah, hot mess kid. She's the one who usually joins me for us. She's actually on pizza duty. She's picking up pizza for the kids and she's dragging her family out here. And this is probably this is gonna be our first. I mean, you're fixing my bun. Yeah, so I was putting, okay. So this is our first like wine tasting at the pool this season. So, this season, this, not all the other seasons. But she didn't tell me like in true motherly fashion, like just to start without her. So you know what? Like I would like, I love her and all, but like, of course I'm. Stuck and about and her videos are ten wine. minutes. And because there's wine and, and there's and pork rinds, and ooh. he's gonna zip it, right? Go swim in the pool. Where's your sissy? Yeah, she's in the pool. Yep, she's over there. Okay, so here's me. Chiarabala. I don't know what that was. But okay, so we're cracking into this, this bucket of pork rinds right here. How was it? How have you guys been? Like, I, I don't know if you saw my previous broadcast where I was like, hey, I haven't done this since, since like Easter, so I kind of went dark. I kind of like shut down and I like fell off, fell off the grid. Um, I think it's just because I was overwhelmed with a lot of stuff that's going on in my life right now, which you guys all know about. And, um, and I, I'm those, one of those people that instead of like reaching out for help or reaching out for support that like, I just kind of internalize and shut it, shut down and I kind of hide. Um, and I've, I've noticed that that is a pattern and I noticed that this week. So I, I have to remind myself and I'm going to count on you guys. Like if I go dark for too long, someone check in on me because there's probably something that I'm struggling with. And I know that that's, that's a huge responsibility Woo! on you. Um, so, but I'm counting on you. Look, look watch what's gonna happen this. It's, it's, it's a chip. What do you think? What do you think? First pork rind. Okay. It's a little spicy potato. It's a little spicy. Okay, get back in the water now, please. 
Okay, so what do we say? I don't know if I should taste. I don't want to taste the spicy first. Would you guys go for the spicy? Have you ever had a pork rind? And, and you know, there, you know, I've seen like all sorts of recipes, especially like the Atkins people eat a lot of these. But like I've seen a lot of recipes where like the Atkins people they will like crumble it up instead of a breadcrumb and use it as like a like a breadcrumbing. Like you know, they'll crumb it all over their chicken or they'll crumb it all over their you know to, as, as a breading or a topping or even over their salads. So yeah, so there's that. Have you ever had a pork rind? See, it's poor guy. I'm like recruiting him now. So yeah, I'm doing a wine tasting on pork rinds. Yeah, wine pairings and pork rinds. Oh. Yeah. So I'm the, I'm live on Facebook right now. And so I, I do you know if there is a difference between a pork rind and a chicharrone? Not really. No. It, it's it, you don't know, or you there's no difference. No, there is no difference. There, okay, because someone I was reading online that apparently there is a difference, but I don't know what it is. Not that I would know. Okay. See now he looks like he would know. He looks like he, he looks like a man who's been around a, a pork rind. He's been important. See, like, do you mind if I show? See, he's been. Uh, see, this is what happens when you come to the pool. You get recruited into my madness, and you know, because okay, now we're on different. That's pork rind number two. Okay, slow down on the pork rinds, there, kiddo. Okay, this They're is good, aren't they? Looks like air puffs. Okay, she's got one now too. No, this is a spicy one. Here, they're kind of like air puff grease, right? Okay. Flies. Okay, so they're kind of like air puff grease. Um, you know, I could see where these would be good. But like, I'm ordering like pork country. <gasps> hey, Pay. I'm working a lot of pork country. We're big on barbecue. Just watching my child. Big on barbecue. And all things pork. She's swimming in a pool four years old. Okay. So I'm having this pork rind here with this Zinfandel. I'm thinking the Zimbandel is a little overpowering. But I'm gonna keep drinking it. Have you ever had a pork rind with a wine before? No. Beer? Beer. When do you eat most of your pork rinds? Is that like a Super Bowl thing? Or a summer thing? No, like a lunch thing at work. Mm-hmm. Like get it out of the vending machine thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was at Lidl and I think these were like 90 cents a bag. I'm like, okay, well, you know, it'll hold up well in the summer, right? And it's a 4th of July week. So, I'm taking one for the team, and I, I just don't feel like, I, I thought they'd be saltier. Uh, it depends on which brand, I mean, like anything else. The spicy ones tend to be a little, a little more salty. I'm going to try Funyuns next time. Oh, Funyuns. Funyuns are extremely salty. Yeah, Funyuns. I think we're going to try Funyuns or cheese balls. Oh, yeah. Funyuns or cheese balls. I think the red overpowers the pork rind. I'm getting little pork rind, a lot of heavy red. Okay, moving on to the spicy. And of course, I'm, I'm gonna defer to my friend Melissa and she gets her butt here with the pizza. She gets her reprieve because she's bringing pizza to the kids. Um, I'm gonna defer to her to see what she thinks of the pork rind. I think I prefer this spicy pork rind it's weird when you have it with this prosecco or just because it like you get this bubbly sweet thing and then it finishes hot finishes hot i think i've seen these like crumble on top of a sushi before i don't know but this is interesting because like i said it starts sweet Fish to finish is real spicy. Do they have any other flavors besides spicy and plain? They make a dill pickle flavor. Oh, I love me some dill pickle now. Serious? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Are you coming back for more? Oh, okay, okay. Okay. How do you keep your child out of the bag of chips when she's like soaking wet with pool water? Because, you know, that I guess it won't be so bad because these are, like I said, 79 cents a bag and so what? You know, I can throw out 79 cents worth of chips. But, like, you know, you have all those big buckets of cheese balls or huge family sized bags of chips and you see your kid reaching in there with that swimming pool wet hand and you're like no please no okay so what are you guys drinking today do you have a favorite summer cocktail do you have a favorite summer snack that comes in a bag or other box and are you eating any of them for the fourth of july are you what are you doing for the fourth of july okay lay off the pork rinds my kids are gonna have heart conditions for their okay you love these he loves it do you i don't even know i'm gonna would you tell your child what it is 
You know what you're eating, right? What? Snakes. Snakes. You know you're eating snakes, right? I don't care. I don't care. All right then. Cheers to us. Cheers to us and our red solo cups. Yeah. So. I've been gone for a long time. I need you guys to tell me what you're up to. As you know, like, I don't know if you remember my saga, but my saga was something a little like this. Here's a timeline. While I'm watching my four-year-old daughter swim pool. Um, timeline was something like this. I just realized that I am sitting in a puddle of swim chlorine, chlorinated water because I think they dripped all over my seat. Um, timeline went like this. We sold our house, like, in mid-April. I was living in a hotel with the kids for a while, finishing up some school until Easter. Easter came and went, we went to Europe to see my mom, came back and we started living at the beach. And I've been homeschooling at the beach and trying to keep them from climbing the walls at the beach. My husband has been in California since January. One more, here, let me get it for you so you don't put your sticky hand in there. Okay. I don't have the heart to do it, she's eating a pig. Um, so, Then come June, we kind of finished the homeschooling thing. Then I started to work. I started to do some travel for work. So I would have to leave my kids here at the beach house with the babysitter. And that's probably the sweetest gig a 20 something year old babysitter could ever get. Getting assigned to, getting paid to watch two kids at the beach, right? Especially when my kids have summer camp and all she has to do is drop them off from 7.30 in the morning to 5.30 at night. She can lay on the beach all day long and she gets paid for that. What, what kind of, I never got a job like that. That would have been sweet. Yeah, that would have been sweet. Just making sure, I'm, I don't have any support here. You know, hubby, hey, Jen. Uh, hubby's like gone. My friend is not here yet because she's getting, she's slow with the pizza, but she's bringing pizza, so yay her. Our husband's supposed to be coming too and her three kids. So I'm trying to keep an eye on this situation and that situation. So yeah, so. I've been working, um, done with homeschooling, kids are now in summer camp, but now it is really becoming apparent, and my mom's been dealing with some health issues and family drama, and so kind of went off the grid, as you guys know. So I realize it not only has been a long time since I did a, 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 a live broadcast, a hot mess mama live, but I haven't done like a wine tasting in a while, and so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to break out the pork rinds, because nothing says reunite family loving, 4th of July, summer heat, then pork rinds. So this is going to be a 4th of July. It's going to be weird. Like I'm going to be here with my two kids and my husband's not going to be here. I haven't seen my, I, like, I, it's, he moved there in January and I have seen him once since then. So, um, and the kids have seen him once since then. So it will be, it'll be interesting because now we've kind of gotten into the routine of like not having him around. And then although we miss him, we've gotten into that routine where we haven't had, and then like I program the children how to act and behave and do things. And then the second he see, they see dad, it's gonna be like, all bets are off. Like, okay, there's gonna be ice cream for dinner and they're gonna throw their underwear on the lampshades kind of thing. I, I, I don't know. I So there's this part of me that says, yes, I miss my husband. And then there's this other part of me that says, yeah, but it's gonna disrupt the routine. And like, I, I am kind of impressed and I feel empowered because I've had to like really fend for myself in situations where I would normally defer to my husband. Like I had to replace a door handle or I had to like my car fixed or I had to shampoo a carpet or fix some door flashing. Do you even know what door flashing is? Well, now I know what door flashing is. You know, things like that, you know? So yeah, um, I've had to learn how to do those things myself and or know when to call someone to help me. So, you know, and my husband is very much of the school of thought as, as some of you are. Hey, hey Mary. Um, more like, if I can do it myself, why pay someone? So he'd be like, what do you mean you can't change a tire? What do you mean? Do you know how to change a tire? I don't know how to change a tire. I feel like I, I, one of the first things I'm going to teach my child how to do is change a tire. Because I don't know how to change a tire. I would just call someone to do that for me. And that's ridiculous. I should be able to know how to do that myself. But like, I had to change like an electronic lock. I had no idea how to do that. I didn't even know where the tools were. And my husband just says, go in the like tool closet in the tubs. You should see this tool closet. It's literally like this catch-all where he just like throws all the shit. And I'm supposed to be able to find it amongst his organizational skills. But yeah, so I'm kind of impressed with myself that I've been able to manage the things that I've been able to manage. Like working, like working jobs, teaching kids, taking care of dogs, living alone, doing repairs, maintenance. Mommy, mommy, I'm 
Mom, I'm thirsty. Okay, well, go swim for a little bit and I'll get you something. I'm thirsty too. Mommy's thirsty too. Mary, what are you up to? Katie, what are you up to? What are you doing, Jenny? What are you guys all doing for the 4th of July? I'm here all by myself alone at the beach condo with my two kids. I realized today when I was at the grocery store that maybe I should buy some hot dogs and like look like an American. Like, like act like an American because it's 4th of July is coming. Oh, I'm not halfway there because I got pork rinds. But I was like, okay, I need to get some like serious beer and some hot dogs and hamburgers and like some kind of jello mold because apparently that's what like 4th of July is all about. What's your 4th of July staple? Like, what do you have to have every 4th of July? Uh, nothing real. I mean, we don't. He's, 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 he, uh -uh, he's couching the question. So, like, do you have to have ribs? Like, do you have to have, no. like, beer? Like, do you oh, have to have beer. beer? Right, see, he's my kind of guy. Um, do you have to have watermelon? Do you have to have, like, a potato salad or a jello mold? Or... We're not. We're not big on stuff like that. We're not. As far as tradition. Traditional 4th of July stuff. Yeah, I mean. See, okay, so now that I don't feel so and bad. We still have people, you know, we still have friends who cook out. Yeah, we have friends over, we cook yeah. out, right? But, like, I feel bad because I feel like I have them prepared for the 4th of July, especially being here at the beach when it's kind of a big event because we are a very large military presence here. And so, like, I realize I think I might have some hot dogs in my freezer. And I think I have a bun that's probably two or three months old. But it's a hot dog bun. And now pork rinds. Okay. And Thank I have you. two children. Okay, go get in the pool and stop eating my pork rinds. <laughs> this is research. This is re it's very important for mom <laughs> to be doing this right now. Um, um, like in Wisconsin, we did brats and sauerkraut. I would guess like here in North Carolina, they would do barbecue. Like you do a big, big old pig, like pig picking. I don't know if you guys have ever had a pig picking, but dang. Ooh, Orlando, baby. What are you doing in Orlando? Are you doing Disney? Are you doing some sort of, is your daughter racing or something? What are you doing in Orlando? I'm jelly. Yep, yep. Pork rinds. Not all of them are cracked up to be. They're not as salty as I thought they would be. Have you had a pork rind, Jen? Parker, Parker. Mary, Katie. Okay, so Kate, the 4th of July, Katie and I, my friend Katie and I, have had a long history of 4th of Julys at her house in, like, the Chicagoland suburbs. And I miss those 4th of Julys a lot because they're super fun. But instead, I'm here at the beach by myself with my two kids. Oh, we have to totally catch up, Parker. Okay, so, but... If any of y'all are like, you know, not busy or anything, and you feel like taking a road trip to come see me in North Carolina, I've got some beds and I've got some hot dogs and some screaming kids and we can make a, seriously, road trip it. Who that time? It's Friday the 28th, not plenty of time. I don't know, even if you were living in California, you could get here in time. So as far as I'm concerned, you have no excuse. Go ahead. Our friends are here. Melissa's here and her kids are here. She's going to help me here. Yeah, I think definitely spicy pork rinds. Would you go for the spicy or the regular? Spicy. Always the spicy. Always. Yeah, like I could put some Tabasco on the spicy. Like I'm, oh, yeah. I'm liking the heat. Hot sauce. Or I'm like Obey. Obey. If y'all aren't from the South, you probably don't even know what Obey is. I didn't know what it was until I moved here. Oh, Old Bay yeah. is like, you put Old Bay on everything, right? Good on corn on the cob. I, it is good on corn on the cob, right? For real. See? I like this guy already. Okay. She's always good. My friend Melissa is always good for bringing like the most obnoxious pool toys you've ever seen. She's got like a big old unicorn going on right now. You know, every kid in the pool is going to be fighting over that. And I'm just going to sit here and eat my pork rind. Because it's carb free, 17 grams of protein. And we're not even going to look at the fat content because that's irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. You know, people can survive on napkins, right? Okay, let's forget the fact that the guy who was the Atkins founder died of heart disease, but that's okay. I think I can do this. Okay, this guy next to me is so awesome. He's got this really kicking like music going on that says like summer to me. Okay, so what's your go-to 4th of July summer song that's on your playlist? He, oh, he deferred to the wife. She plays country all day. Yep, pretty much. Plays country. It's research. Or old ladies rock. Oh, see, I knew I liked them for reasons. Oh yeah, hair metal. Oh, okay, okay, out, out of the beverages. Okay, there's pizza. Seriously, had I know? Okay. This is gonna go in their snack, in their summer camp snacks stuff. Okay, get down, careful. He's gonna bust a gut. Okay, seriously, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do when I move to California because I know they're not gonna have summer camps. I feel bad. I feel guilty that I've got into the summer camp situation because here in North Carolina, like in our like our you know Parks and Rec people, I have my kids in get this eight weeks of summer camp. You couldn't just buy one week. You had to buy like the eight week block. Eight weeks of summer camp, okay? And it's Monday through Friday, 7:30 in the morning to 5:30 at night for eight weeks. And for both of my kids, it was like $750. That is nothing. That is nothing. It's like twenty dollars a week. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, so I feel guilty because here I am, like, I drop them off at seven thirty, and I go to the gym, and I, and I, now this is like the second week now, and they, I can hang out on the beach. I can run my errands without my children. I can go to an OBGYN appointment without having to have my kids see me in my stirrups. So there's that. Here, where is Andrew here? Okay. Where's Hubs? Working. Okay. I thought Hubs was coming. No. Okay. Oh. Okay, so now I need to get her, her kick on this. Ooh, have fun at the pool. Kissing the kids. You, you too, Jen. I love you much. Okay, we're all trying to get together and do like this college sorority reunion and go to a football game, and I don't know how that's going to work out because that's super hard these days. She's not one of my sorority sisters, but she's one of my... You've seen my pain sisters. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Zana. Wait a minute. You guys got to see this. Hey, how's that pizza? I don't know if that pizza if that's a big enough piece. Is that a big enough piece of pizza? That pizza is like literally bigger than she is. Okay, so I, I need you to, to do the verdict on this. Okay. Okay, so wait, it is red. It is the Zinfandel with the regular. Okay. Have you had a pork rind before? It's been a long time. I have, I, this is my first pork rind experience. She's eating, she's not even, she won't even eat it in front of the camera. Like, what is it? Like, you like, you don't want uh, evidence that you ate a pork rind? No. Pork rind, my kids have been eating them like by the fistful, not knowing what they are. Pork rind and Zinfandel. What do you think? I think that the, and the, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the red Zinfandel overpowers the pork rind. Mm -hmm. It overpowers the pork rind. I don't taste the pork rind, right? Okay, so now, okay. Spicy chicarones. Oh, no, finish that. Oh, yeah, you're going to finish it because there's no carbs. And there's full protein. Now we're going to have, she's laughing at me, but it's true. It even says so on the back. Okay, now it's from Lidl. It's from Lidl, I know. Spicy with Prosecco. This one I thought was really interesting. I'm gonna wait for her reaction. She takes these dainty little bites and I'm like, shove it in my face. You gotta drink the, her, no, you can't swallow it and then take the sip. Pop it in the mouth, swish that while you still have it in there. This is how we wine taste. Hmm. You wanna wait? Wait for it. The spice. I know, like, so it's kind of like this rush of sweet with the Prosecco, and then... And then, like... Heat. Then the heat. Okay, okay, here she comes. Hey, Zana, can we have that piece of pizza before it goes in the swimming pool? I'm just saying. Yeah, so there's that. So, Melissa, I was just telling everybody, this is, like, the first time we've done a pool wine tasting since... Oh, she's sitting right by the pool with the pizza in her hand. I see this is dangerous. But this is the first time we've done one since... This, this is the first one of the season. Yeah. Okay, and what way to kick it off? Sadly, I know, but well, you've been gone and I've been gone. So, like, this is the this is the way to kick it off. Like, with pork rinds. Nothing says summer like pork rinds. And swimming pools. She's been wine tasting without me. I have. She told me to start without her. She showed up 30 minutes late. And you know how important it is for moms to be on time? We're always on time. Always. I've never in my life been late for anything. Especially as a mom, because I am perfect, practically perfect in every way. I'm like freaking Mary Poppins with a pork rind. That's why I got, that, that's a quote, quotable. Whoa, okay, can I have this? Oh, look, look, what do we got here? How did you get pizza grease on your arm? She's just gonna get it off, I think she's gonna jump in the pool. Awesome. We're full of sand, so. I don't know. No. Pizza. Okay, he's talking his mouth full. He's doing armpit farts. It's summer. Okay, it's summer. Uh oh, clink it. Red solo cup. Clink it and drink it. Clink it and drink it. 
What is it like? Click it or tick it? Click it or tick it? Clink it or drink it? What you want another bite? Okay, no, I hold. Um, the towel's over there. Yes, the towel's over there. So, I was at a conference this week and someone was asking me like, what is your favorite pizza topping? It's a fly. What's your favorite pizza topping? Bite, no, bite, bite. No. What's it? You do because you're full of water, you're wet. Bite. She's fine, she's gonna dry out. All right, so what's, what is your favorite pizza topping? I thought this one, this guy had a really interesting answer. What is your favorite pizza topping? Um, arugula and prosciutto, it's really good. And she makes some meat. She makes some homemade. They're good. When I can. Mm -hmm. Okay. This guy was like, "You've not tried anything until you've had." He was like, "Forget the Hawaiian style pizza." Did you see how I did that? Forget the Hawaiian style pizza. He's like, "You need to have a pizza with the cheese, pineapple, and jalapenos." Mm. This is like you get that kick of the heat, and then the like follow the sweet. Right? That sounds good. So forget the ham. You don't even need the ham. So like I kind of, I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling that, like I get that concept now that I have this heated pork rind with Prosecco. Yeah. What about Takis? I bet it'd be good with Takis. With what? Oh, Takis. Oh, have Takis you guys had Takis? <gasps> we should try that next. Mm. Uh, takis? You know, apparent, is, apparently Takis burn holes in stomach. Talk, you would know because your husband's a doctor. I'm sure he well, sees no, that I, all the time. I heard from a high school mom. <laughs> he would not know these things. I heard from my high school mom. Well, you know, it's kind of like, you know, what is it? You can't have Pop Rocks with soda because you're like, you'll blow up like Mikey did. Remember that? I don't. Like you're, like, you're not supposed to have Pop Rocks and soda because then like your face will blow up. Really? Well, you know. A myth. I'm sure it's not a myth. I'm sure it's super legit. Yeah. So how have you been? What have you been up to? Jump. What are you doing? Where are your children? That's a, that's a hand starting over there. Jump. Over there. Firing other people's boats after I told her. I know. I told her. You can't I, have the unicorn that I brought because there's too many people here. But then I, everyone brings up there. I told her. I said, Melissa, like, brings the most obnoxious pool floaties. Yeah, and it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and everybody fights over it in swimming pool. Seriously, that piece of pizza is bigger than my daughter right now. You're really good at that. Okay, so verdict on the pork rind. Excuse me. Oh, you know, and I, I keep telling my son that like. No, I like. Wow. Look. I keep telling my son that like, do you want for a second with that? I'm gonna suck it with it. I'm like, would you like to suck it with it? That's what he said. Not for a second with it. Ooh, you almost knocked. That would have been a bar file, son. What's, I'm gonna teach you about bar files someday. Um. I forgot what I was gonna say. We've been doing swim team. Yeah, she's been doing swim team and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Super fun. She means she has to stay in the city. She can't come out here. But, like, we got our three kids here. Sans husband. Always. Eating always. Doing it for themselves. Yeah. That's what we're doing it for ourselves. And pork rinds. And today, I actually read a book on the beach. You read a book on the beach? Where were your kids? Apparently, it was so hot today. Even they didn't want to play in the sand. They like stayed under our umbrella and like that. we're like all over the town. And I was like, go play. And they're like, it's too hot. Too hot for them. I had someone come in to shampoo our carpets. That's what I did today. Because my dog, while I was on vacation, I think was pissed off at me and she peed and pooped on my carpets. So I had to, um, I know that's way too much. See, that's why, that's, that's my life in a nutshell. Pork rinds and dogs peeing on my carpets. So yeah, I didn't have a clean today. So I can't walk on my carpets right now. I can't go, I can like, there's like one room in my house that I can go in right now. Yeah, so that's why, that's why there's pork rinds and there's beverage. What are you doing for the 4th of July? We'll be here. You're yeah. here? Mm -hmm. Okay, but like, what are you doing? Like, are you barbecuing? Are you, um, do you have family yes, coming? Yes, we have some barbecue. Oh, not family. It's just like, oh no, not family. Oh, no. I guess this 4th of July isn't really a family holiday. You well, know? No, not really. No, it doesn't have to be. It's not like, like the Creasters. It's not the Christmas right and the Easter's. We gotta be with the family. No, it's, it's like, you know, it's one of those families where you like pay homage, homage to, you know, America and our soldiers. I mean, like I said, it's a big deal for us here in North Carolina because there's just a lot of military presence here. So it'll be, they're already hanging their flags. Flags are already hanging and, you know, I've already started hearing fireworks. So, and it'll be good. It'll be good, right? And the cool thing about it is that my summer camp does not take off this week. They took off one day. They took off 4th of July and that's it. 
I feel like a terrible mom because like I, I, I keep finding myself like going to this place of oh my gosh they're not going to be young forever maybe I should be spending this time with them and then I have a reality check and go yeah that's that's the thing like I, I, I can't do it I'm not strong enough I'm not strong enough to spend 24 7 with those children every day like I have been for the last couple of months in a tiny space with no friends and no activities so yeah spring so summer camp has been like a blessing and like so affordable and they come back exhausted and the thing that kills me is like this like I've had my kids in like gymnastics summer camp and they don't come they come home and they're not tired this where they're like playing like the play that you and I used to do when we were kids like they run and play outside at a park or they play board games inside or they play dodgeball in the gym or they go to a splash pad or they go to a swimming pool like wears them out so what am I paying all this money for to be sending them to these like super high intensity athletic camps and they do nothing for them? I don't know. Anyways, I will tell you this, like you cannot put enough sunblock on your children. I have like slathered all over my kids with zinc sticks and and they still come home sunburned. And every time these people look at me like, you didn't put any sunblock? Yes, I did put sunblock on my children and I still send them in their backpacks so that they can put it on themselves. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm doing my due diligence and the sun has got other plans. All right, so I'm looking at my watch now. It's 5.40. I've been talking to you for 40-some 40, 40 minutes. And I'm watching my children who are swimming in the pool. But here's the verdict on the pork rinds. If I had to make my choice, it would be the spicy with the Prosecco over the regular with the Zinfandel. So that's my pearl, my nugget of wisdom to you moms on this Friday. Happy Friday. Um, thank you for welcoming me back. Like I said, I know I've been on break for a while. I took a break. Um, I, we'll call it a break. I just kind of went dark for a while and I'm back and I'm looking forward to birds. I'm still, I'm looking forward to interacting with you further, giving you support and receiving your support. I love you much. Have a happy Friday and we'll talk to you before the fourth. Have a good one. Enjoy the pork rinds.